In the 1960s and 1970s, cars imported from Eastern Europe were often the target of subpar jokes. The USSR's Moskvich, the Czech Skoda, and East Germany's Wartburg were the main subjects of ridicule. But today, we're going to take a closer look at one of the rarest cars in the UK, the 1967 Wartburg Knight. The Wartburg brand was introduced to the UK in 1956, offering affordable motoring with its front-wheel drive and two-stroke engine. The Wartburg Knight, in particular, provided Ford Cortina-sized motoring on a Mini 850 budget. With features like two-speed windscreen wipers, electric washers, reclining front seats, and ample boot space, the Knight offered great value for money. Despite some criticism of its handling and design, the Warburg Knight gained popularity in the UK. However, changing automotive fashions and stricter emission regulations led to the end of its production in 1976. Today, there are believed to be only 17 Warburg Knights left on the road. But what was it like to drive a Warburg Knight? Well, according to Michael Ryman, who owns one of these rare cars, the Knight offers vast space, comfortable seats, and excellent steering and suspension. It may not have all the modern conveniences we're used to, but back in 1967, it was a budget-friendly option that provided freedom and social status. Of course, not everyone has fond memories of the Wartburg Knight. Some remember it as a challenging car to drive, with its transmission freewheel and drum brakes requiring some acclimatization. And let's not forget the jokes and criticisms it faced due to its Eastern European origins. But despite the mixed opinions, the Warburg Knight holds a special place in automotive history. It represents a time when affordable cars were in high demand, and it offered a unique driving experience for those on a limited budget. So, whether you love it or hate it, the 1967 Warburg Knight is undeniably one of the rarest cars on British roads today. With only 17 believed to remain, it's a true collector's item for automotive enthusiasts. What are your thoughts on the Warburg Knight? Have you ever seen one on the road? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more automotive news and stories. Thanks for watching.